Hello everyone, this is Oliver from NEO and today a special where we compare two different stem teas. We are talking about the Kukicha and we're talking about the Karigane. So these are two different quality-wise different stem teas. Stem teas known also for a mix between leaves and stems and especially people who are a little bit sensitive to caffeine might have heard of this tea already before as it is known to have a pretty low content of caffeine actually it is said that of the unroasted or not roasted teas this green tea has the lowest amount of caffeine but now let's go a little bit further into this so as I said, they are both um, uh, stem teas and they are both coming from the same tea plant. The main difference between a Karigana and between a Kukicha is that the Karigana, so this one here, comes from a higher grade tea plant production. So it can come from Gyokuro, it can come from Kabus Essentia, so shaded Sencha, and the Kukicha itself comes from a non-shaded tea plant so there you have not the process of shading in which makes this tea a little bit more mineralized in taste a little bit more hage also in taste and this tea has a lot of the sweetness of a typical gyokuro also with it just as a comparison so that i can show you the color of these two different teas so you can see what you can see is that really the Karigane has a darker color than the Kukicha. Kukicha, you can see that this tea is a mix of stem and leaves, but of brighter leaves, while this here shows really a beautiful dark color. This is the main difference between Kukicha and Karigane. In terms of caffeine, caffeine omnipresent in every green tea, which is not roasted or which is uh, not yeah, which is not roasted. And finally, um, you will have then a different kind of stem tea being a mix of leaves and stems. And the Karigane is really coming from Gyokuro. So this is also the, the leaf tea which has the most caffeine. And that's why the Karigane has also a more elevated uh, amount of caffeine. So for example, when we go into a Gyokuro, a Gyokuro has, a, has around 120 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the quality. If you go to the highest, qu highest um, quantity on the highest grade, here we are talking about 40. So it's around one third, uh, 25 to 30% of a normal Gyokuro. When we go to the caffeine level of the Kukicha, we are cutting the caffeine level by half. So here we are around 20 milligrams of caffeine, just to give you a uh, benchmark. Also for comparison to the Gyokuro, it's one sixth of the, of the caffeine level of the Gyokuro. And compared, for example, to coffee, this coffee has around 80 milligrams of caffeine normally of the lower Arabica ones, the stronger Robusta ones can go up to 120 or even 140. So it's quite, quite low in comparison. That's why also I personally, I like to drink a lot. Kukicha for the evening, just before going to bed or in the evening times, perfect tea and something beautiful for the evening. Also a little bit of a stronger taste in my opinion. Um, and as your taste buds, especially in the morning, they are sensitive and they lose a little bit over the day, it's a good tea for the evening. So I brought here my two cuses, so we go directly into the brewing of these two teas. But first, I gonna tell you a little bit about the region where they are from. So the Kukicha here on the right is actually a Kukicha from Yakushima. Yakushima, a UNESCO heritage site, an island south of the most southern part of the main island. So around uh, two hours with the speedboat, around five hours with the slow boat. You can go to the south and you arrive on, on um, Yakushima. And there Mr. Watanabe and his family, they cultivate especially tea, which is known or they kind of have a philosophy of really 
trying to cultivate the tea as close to its nature as possible so they don't use a lot of fertilizer they don't use anything else it's all organic um, so they really try to get the most taste out of or the purest taste out of their, their teas and this one here is their kukicha. On the other hand we have the karigane of Mr. Sakamoto. Mr. Sakamoto is a very famous or a quite famous uh, farmer in the region of Kagoshima. He is especially known for his strong umami flavored gyokuro. So he does exclusively gyokuro and this karigane is coming from his gyokuro um, showing um, a very beautiful sweet notes and Kagoshima itself very beautiful also very known also more and more for the cultivation of green tea especially sweeter green teas and more umami strong green teas and that's why also Mr. Sakamoto is really a specialist or has decided for himself he becomes not only a specialist and one of the first organic green tea farmers in Japan but also really pushing um, the note of this umami sweetness and this is what his teas are known for. But let's go directly into it, brewing the same amount of these two teas. So we have brewed now the tea for 1.5 minutes. We just pour them, both of them, into the glass. So now we have here the kukicha and here we have the karigana. What you can already see from the first sight is that this one here has more of a jade green, a little bit of a more greenish color, already linked to the leaves. Here we had the darker leaves, a little bit more shiny leaves and this you can directly see in the liquor. While here we have a little bit more also of a cloudy uh, liquor, a little bit more golden yellowish color also coming from the brighter leaves, a little bit lighter green leaves. So definitely already in the color of the beverage, in the color of the liquid of the water, um, you can see the difference of the tea. But now I'm curious to see what the taste difference is. So we first take the kukicha. Here we have a little bit of a hazy flavor with a little bit now of a dry note. There's also a grassiness, but a little bit more of a hay grass note, which is pretty impressive. Some freshness with it, so very, very beautiful. And I personally personally like this tea. It's a little bit more of a straightforward, a little bit drier flavor, a little bit more this hay flavor. So this is how this tea tastes like. And here, complete difference. So we directly have a little bit of this umami note. When you know it a little bit, it's a little bit like this savory note bringing it directly in also the sweetness there's more a little bit kind of a feeling of a density in the water and um, kind of a density in the water and what I can see here also with this one is that you don't have this hazy flavor you have a little bit this mineral uh, flavor a um, little bit this tingling on the tongue but still a lot of sweetness with this one here much more of a fruity tone here we got more like of this mineralized hay flavor and here we got much more of a fruity tone very interesting so in difference of the teas is exactly what I thought before is really like this shading and this dark green releases or shows that it has more theanine in it more amino acids meaning that the tea automatically gets more sweeter has a more of a sweet note with it while the kukicha has really this like a, this hazy a little bit of late summer grass flavor profile 
quite refreshing here we are much more in the sweeter area so the difference of these two is here we really have like the hage refreshing tea and here a little bit the sweet smooth and also a little bit mineralized tea but uh, much less than this one here good so that's the main difference I would say about these two teas. I hope you like this. And uh, if you ever have a question, never hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to answer all the questions you have. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.